Howdy. I made some adjustments to the pictures. I haven't watched them yet. But let's first watch the original video once again. It is really, really fascinating. And that's the original speed. So this has been a phenomenon which has been there for quite a long time, I would say, for this kind of phenomena. And I want to point out once again, this seems to go against the wind direction, which seems to blow into this direction, because the ash plume makes a curve. That's just really fascinating. That's now a little bit slow-mo, but it starts really quickly. And there is just plasma pouring out of the air. Oh, that's really amazing. It looks like the plasma rain on the sun. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let me show you pictures. These are just a little bit enhanced. I tried to figure out is there anything. And there seems to be something. Like I said, I haven't watched them yet. I just made some adjustments. But I guess that's approximately the place where it starts. There yeah, might be. This doesn't seem to be a camera anomaly. The camera picked something up. <laughs> really interesting. Then we can see the plasmoid emerge. There seem to be two spheres or something. I don't know what to tell you about that yet, except that this is basically totally nature in its purest form, energized. I have been talking about volcanoes and if they if they have this kind of static or continuous ash plume, that the ash plume could work as this kind of antenna and it could gather energy from the layer in 
which it is, and direct it to the volcano. That's really cool. And it's so interesting that that's the first thing and then it makes somehow a bow and it rains down. It's really... I don't know what to make of this. We had this green stuff before, already before the plasmoid emerged. Is this some kind of radiation what the camera picks up? I have no idea. It actually seems to make a connection. It just looks like that. I have no idea. And here we see the first is kind of Plasmoid streamers, or however you call those, they are starting to form and they shoot off. And here we have this kind of form here, and these, I guess, these are lava pieces. And again, we have this greenish. And also here. One. They are like, basically, there are many places. I don't know if those green things mean anything. I have no idea. This seems to go like that. That's amazing. Oh, that's quite at the end.
Really interesting. A little bit is still visible here and here. It's just pouring out of this plasmoid. Maybe there is this kind of area here. which might be this kind of charged, charged area already. And I really wonder about this, what? This black dot here, there's a black dot and a green square. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sucks that I figured out I could zoom in here or zoom out, but it's not the same perspective anymore, so it's not really nice to watch. But it's really interesting how they are just shooting up. Yeah, I leave it here, that's something to get one's head wrapped around. And I really wonder how big that thing is. That's Fuego, which is a mountain. So I don't know, this could be somewhat 200 meters. Rather large. Whoa, I could see, I could watch this all night long, all day long. That's something really amazing. And we might expect to see more of these kinds of things since Earth is charging up many solar flares and these kind of things. One time, once again. Wow. Beautiful. Thanks. Bye.